Thank you, Doreen. The Ministry of Finance has released correspondence it's had with the Bank of Jamaica about the reasons for the recent breach of the inflation target. The correspondence was released with the Governor of the Bank of Jamaica, Brian Winter, expounding on the matter at hand, that of inflation being below target and what the BOJ will do to cause inflation to rise again. He was at the Ministry of Finance today. TVJ's Dashan Hendricks was there and filed this report. A trail of correspondence between the Ministry of Finance and the Bank of Jamaica, and then the central bank explaining why inflation, which at 2.8% for the 12 months to the end of June, was below its target of 5%. The correspondences were released on Wednesday with the Finance Minister, Dr. Nigel Clark, being conscious that the public continues to question the rationale behind the central bank and the government's concern about the lower-than-expected inflation. Dr. Clark was answering no questions about the matter on the record, handing over to the central bank Governor Brian Winter. Pointing to the correspondences, Mr. Winter said three factors were identified to explain the reason. Agricultural prices falling faster than expected, imported inflation lower than forecast, and higher oil prices not being fully passed through. He said these were all temporary factors which are already being corrected. The key example is agricultural prices, crop prices, that, were, that fell and were very low. That's not a permanent thing. That's going to keep going up and down. Already, as we know, there's talk about, not talk, more than talk, there are reports um, relating to the uh, drought conditions and so on that is going to have an impact on agricultural prices. He said apart from that, the central bank will take steps to meet its inflation target. His statement comes against the backdrop of being told in one of the minister's letter to carefully balance the risk of overshooting the 5% inflation target by ensuring there is no overreacting to the underperformance to June. Questioned on that matter as to what will be done, the governor took the opportunity to address recent statements, some made on the political trail. It's being said that we are trying to get the inflation rate to go up mm -hmm. by pushing up the exchange rate. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely not true. And it's a, it, 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 it takes you down a wrong path if you believe that's what we're actually doing. We are not doing that. He said the bank will use interest rates as the tool to achieve its target. In this case, hinting that historically low policy rates of 2% could be further lowered as early as next week. Monetary policy right now, loose as it is, may not be loose enough. Interest rates now, if you think about what, what most people will agree, interest rates for a medium-sized or small business are very high. It is an obstacle to those businesses being able to expand. We want to cause that to happen. So we use monetary policy to try to get the banking system and other stakeholders to lower their interest rates, creating easier access to credit. That creates more activity, and that greater activity comes with more inflation. But he said the country won't get back to the target inflation level until June next year. For now, he encourages small businesses to shop around and bargain for lower interest rates, while the central bank pushes through reforms to ensure that when it lowers its policy rates, the borrowing public sees the benefits much quicker. Dashan Hendricks, TVJ News.